Hey, welcome to Dow Stock Talk, where I talk about topics relating to investing in finance, but more specifically, these. In this video, I'll be going over Songvest. I'll be doing a review. Now, from the title, you probably can know where I particularly stand for. So, not to please. Normally, I don't make videos about this, but I'm giving a review and I'm giving you my honest opinion of Songvest. Like I said, my personal experience with this platform has not been the best. I will share what the platform is and how it works, and I'll just share my overall experience. But as of now, I'm kind of letting you know up front that my overall experience with using Songvest was not so great. Um, but before we get started, make sure you smash the like button because it helps the YouTube algorithm. It helps you to know the content and help my videos reach a broader audience. Songrest is a platform that allows you to own music royalties from artists. So as you know, when artists make music and stuff, they end up getting money for downloads or anytime someone uses their songs. But now Songvest created an opportunity where ordinary people can own music royalties. And they what they end up doing is they'll issue the rights like a share, they call it a unit. Now, like I said, initially I thought this was super cool. I was wanted to, to do this video for some time, and I, I know I have a lot of friends and family that's into music, and you know I like investing. So anytime I can find investments that's um, in their interest, then I was kind of excited to share, and I just was like, my hey, I wanted to use the platform. And then I'm going to do a video on it. And I was supposed to be doing a video on it like months. But my, actually, my overall experience was not so well. Because um, like I said, I thought it was like super cool. I like This was actually the first uh, music royalty site where I seen that the average person, because a lot of the other ones, by the way, they had music royalty. Um, that's one of the biggest ones. But most of the time, if you don't have thousands and thousands of dollars, that would be out of reach. So Songvest was the only thing that I've seen where at that time you only needed twenty or thirty dollars to end up getting the music to getting the rights to own the music royalty and they break it down um per shares. Like I said, I'll go into it in detail and in all of that. But like I said, I'm just going to share my overall um, personal experience, but like I said, if the platform gets better or if they've um, shown me additional information, I'll now definitely give an update. So anyway, this is the platform. I'm currently on the platform, Songvest. Um, like I said, I'll go through the website and I'll you know show you um, the per the song that I purchased, which was kind of hit the quan. I'll show you the information that they gave me and why, um, from an investor perspective, I'm not too pleased with my overall experience. So like I said, this is the um, the website. Now they have the auction. I personally would not pay attention to the auction because the auction is for, um, it's just, I think it's more for like larger corporations or companies that they end up setting a price of what they think the overall catalog or music is worth based off of how the, I believe the first, I want to say year um, of revenue that the song have generated from downloads and stuff like that. So as you can see, the current bids of, and this is for the whole collection. Now Songvest breaks it up into shares of what they call units. So this part, I wouldn't you know pay too much about it, but you can just kind of see um, what songs that or what uh, like Usher and um, Chris Brown they have like a lot of big um, celebrities that a lot of people or music musicians that people would end up knowing they have a, um, a lot of big one but big ones like that but once the auction so once the auction is closed then that's when you can end up getting the um, song vest shares now right now they only have two um, they have this one called three-headed goat um, and like I said, they issue as far as song shares. So I'll go over it again. So this is like, for example, the auction price. Once that's the current bid. So once they kind of figure out, you know, what the price is going to go to, then it goes on 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 sale now. But this is where you can end up purchasing it, and it lets you know the number of shares. So it's two thousand uh, two thousand fifty eight 
shares and each share is $250. Now I'm going to show you exactly um, how this will end up working. Um, so this is Three Headed Goat. Um, I'm, it's it's a song, I believe it's a song by Lil, Lil Dirk, Lil Baby. And like I said, I haven't really um, heard about this song too much, but it just comes to showing you from the downloads and the views and things of that nature. But in the pack, this is from an investor perspective, which you kind of really want to see, is how much royalties per unit. Remember, that's this is um, specifically what you would need to know. So if I bought uh, this a unit 101 song share for um, $250, if the revenue continues to be from the last 12 months, each particular year, I would end up getting $18. Now, actually, this would not be that bad if the song can continue generating this particular money um, for a longer period of time. Because the way you normally assess um, whether or not the music royalty is worth it, you normally um, kind of compare it to what they call like a yield. They don't actually really show this on you, um, show this to you, but I'm just going to um, show you to give you a general idea the um, the yield that or percentage that you can expect a, a artist a paid artist to get is between eighteen to twenty five um, percent. So if that yield could be between eighteen or twenty five percent, and like I said, the um, song can keep generating that amount of money, that'll be actually pretty well. But I'm going to show you guys. Make sure you guys hit that um that like button by the way. So the song, let's say they generated eighteen dollars. So song generated eighteen dollars for the past um, year. You pay, let's say we pay two fifty. So we're going to end up seeing what that um, yield would end up being. And I was looking at percents. So it looks like the yield would be in this one seven point two. Now we look at the average artist would be getting paid eight to twenty five. But like I said, so it's not like I said it's not that bad. But the thing about it is. Most of these are newer artists, so it doesn't have a long track record. And normally what happens is the older the song gets, the lower the amount of um, royalties that they would get year over year, not unless it was a classic. So as we can see, when we scroll down, um, the available, it said available quarter three revenue was $28,000. And they do show you um, a breakdown and this is for 2020 for and they break it down by each quarter so right now there's only been three quarters now for music royalties like if you were kind of like legitly in there you would definitely want to buy music royalties that been out for a while so you can kind of say okay how well it would do over a longer term because that from an investment perspective is probably one of the things you most want to pay attention to but like i said this is, has a very short on track record so like I said, overall, from an investment perspective, I think platforms like, well, from what I've seen so far, um, if you're a fan, like, and you kind of like the artist and you like the artist and wanted to support and just for you to have the ability to own or generate money from your favorite artist, I think, like, it's cool that way. But from an investor perspective, if you're looking at it from a solely investment perspective, I'm not, you know, that big of a fan of it. What I, the one I end up purchasing, let's go to past sales, um, was Hit the Quan. I was, it was some type of song. I just kind of did it to try it out. I'm glad I honestly didn't buy a lot. Um, like I said before, I was super excited about it because, like I said, I got one share for sixteen dollars. Now the average, um, on the last twelve months, it generated two dollars. So to just to give you an idea, remember what we said before, the um, pay, uh, artists are paid for royalties between 18 and 25 percent. So we would like to see it in that range. So let's see, uh, let's just say two dollars and two dollars, how much? And this is per unit, I mean, well, per share. So I have uh, one share. So that'd be two dollars right here, a dollar ninety eight. And then we're going to say sixteen dollars. That's the price I paid for it. We just so we can just end up seeing what the yield uh, would end up being, and the yield would end up being twelve point five. So that's actually um, not that bad. And but you also gotta remember though that 
as time goes on, the probably the sales, the, the amount of revenue that the song will end up going will probably decline. So, like I said, if you could, if this could keep this up, you know, at a twelve percent for five to ten for five to ten years or something like that, it would kind of be worth it. But if not, it's not really going to be worth it. Like I said, I purchased it. And the thing about it, the reason why I really didn't like it per se is after I purchased it, that's when everything from my personal experience went downhill. Everything else as far as actually purchasing it, seeing the songs and stuff, that goes well. But the bread and butter, once I purchased it, this is when everything went downhill. So I purchased it. So now you got to remember, let's see when I purchased it. So when I go to payments, well, actually, so when I go to payments, uh, 1014. So we're talking about, I purchased this, what, almost six, six months ago. It showed um, the, as far as the payment that I made for the particular song. But when we look at, if we go to invoice, well, you're, I'm saying this is the invoice. It shows the invoice that I paid for the song. But that's pretty much it. And here, remember, six months went by. So when I go to my song share, which I thought, you know, what this platform was supposed to do and kind of show, hey, you own this particular song and information or any updates of anything. And here we go. This is, this is exactly what we see. No records found. And that's pretty much it. So I paid for this about 16. I only bought one share because I just kind of tried these platforms. So I end up buying it. Like I said, they send me the, I get an invoice of, um, actually, and for invoice, I actually go to have to go to pass invoice. So I click that. So like I said, you've seen that I end up paying for it almost six months ago. And then I go to my song share. None, to me, like if you have a platform, it should be there. I emailed them and I'll tell you what their response was. They said they're currently working on adding it to the portal. I mean the portal, and I was just like, "Hey, this is this should already be put together before you even even put songs up there." That's my um, personal um, opinion, anyway. As you can see, I'm not really too um, happy about that. And I email I emailed them, so I'll end up showing you on what they end up saying and also they have it where you can add your favorites and that kind of does work perfectly fine just hit the heart and then the favorites so like i said that part like i said i like the concept of it but as far as the investment perspective of okay information being organized keeping me informed of okay when the song no updates no nothing it's just kind of like complete um, so actually, let me show you some of the emails that I end up, uh, I end up sent. Oh, and by the way, if you wanted to see the, um, buyer's agreement, um, after you purchase it, they do give you, um, a buyer's agreement and, and things like that. So that, as far as the legal stuff and the documents, that's kind of what you would end up seeing. But like I end up, um, asking them, uh, I believe in March, let's say March. Yeah, March 18th, um, I said, when when will the song show up on my song share? I purchased it over um, six months ago. And then they responded three days later saying the dev team is currently working on it so that you can see the song purchase on song share and it will be available soon. That's all they sent me. It's April 26th and I mean... I don't know. And then I also messaged him, where can I go to find the information um, about the songs I bought and checking music royalties? And I haven't heard from him um, since. So like I said, I'm just kind of um, sharing the my overall experience. So as far as the whole concept, I like the concept. But as far as the song vest as the company and, and keeping you informed of what's going on, um, and things like that. It was just kind of just left me in, in, uh, pretty much just kind of left it like that. And I felt like as a company and stuff, they should definitely keep you way more brushed and, you know, things like that. Um, also, I, this is one of the emails I found October 22nd. Um, it says you can, you know, if you want to check it, go to this. And, uh, it says right now, if you can view your purchase song share, in the my song share this was in october 27 2021 
when you click it, it end up letting you know that it's uh, the link is pretty much internal server error. So like I said, this is some of the things why I personally um, did not like it. Um, if things change in the future, um, I definitely will, you know, keep you guys um, updated. If you guys are also would like to know anything about music royalties or any more questions about song best, make sure you let me know in the um, comments below. If you got comments below, as far as also alternative investments, if you guys are looking at alternative investments, make sure you check out my alternative investments um, platform. And by the way, I also had, I did a video on um, royalty exchange if you want for music royalties as well. To know more about um, a platform that offers music royalties, just check out the suggested videos. But that pretty much concludes this video. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button. If you're new, make sure you subscribe to my channel.